I am sorry for what happened with Dag. It could not have been easy. May he rest in peace. I have to go. Then go in peace. We'll see you later, friend. Goodbye for now. like to see what you have in stock. Do you need anything else? Can we do a bit of training? Absolutely. Nothing more to... I'm off. Be well, friend. Make sure you talk to your raven regularly. They like that.
Smells like a trap. <coughs> Guards here are vigilant.
on your advice. Find some way to hinder his efforts, or I will offer you as his price. Finished with you. <clears throat> you survived my trap. How disappointing. Invaders from Jotunheim. We slaughtered them all. Buris Balsack. Can I kill him now? We do not need this honor cheat. We will complete the tower ourselves. My Hoover makes it work. I am bound to it through the magic of your realm. You perverted our sacred waters. We have every reason to kill you. Well, recent. They should call you the god of hindsight, all-knowing after the fact. I will finish the inscription. Builder, you stay with me. You others go. Elhas, for protection. You godless worm, slayer of my kin, oath breaker, spirit taker, I didn't build this tower to keep your enemies out. I built it to keep you in. You thought you could slay my people without punishment or price? You and your slag had its sons? Their lives were the price of their arrogance. Control them. I only wish to survive them.
Yotan dead? And his magic dies with him. Does that worry you, trickster? What are you implying? Were you behind this? You dishonorable truth tangler. What do you know of honor, Freya? You've bedded more men than all the halls in Midgard. You're a fine one to talk of sexual appetites. You fathered a wolf cub. I'll not hear a lecture from the Lord of Petty Rules who stiffens at the thought of laying down the law. And before you threaten to brandish your hammer, Thor, remember, without it, you'd be no better than a troll. Only twice as stupid. Oh! You festering ball sack swollen with the foulest drippings of Emir's corpse. No oath is worth this abuse. But you won't break it, Harvey. You cannot. All your efforts to evade destiny will only fling you further along its course. If you're not careful, you may be the author of your own destruction. <laughs> Leave him. He will do little harm while his son remains captive. A mouthful of iron would put a stop to his babbling. What now, wise one? We have returned to the place from which we set out. Ragnarok is coming, and we are no safer. There may be a solution in Jotunheim. Huga magic, they call it. I will travel there to see it for myself. Until I have the final binding, Lokistan must not leave that island. In time, it shall serve as a sanctuary for all wolves. I will watch over him, as one of my own kin. Then I'll leave the realm in your capable hands, my queen. If my own are empty when I return, I will accept destiny with both.
Welcome back. Your face is bright, and your eyes seem clearer. Tell me of everything you have seen. I... Uh, I've been to Asgard, the seat of the gods. I saw through Odin's eyes, just as you said. In every vision, I inhabited his form, lived as he once lived. In his body, I was myself, but I was carried by his whims. His thoughts were as known to me as my own. We were two, but we existed as one. And what have you learned? More than learned. I felt, I felt everything. His fears and doubts, his loves and passions. Incredible. What else? I consorted with Loki, the trickster. We quarreled often, as siblings. But soon our fights grew dark. When he revealed he had sired a wolf cub, my rage was unbound. Because he had hid the truth from you? Yes, because he knew that wolves were not allowed in Asgard. He flaunted my command. Perhaps this was the purpose of your vision. To overcome an inner fear, and find forgiveness in your heart. Maybe. But before my vision ended, I was seized by great purpose. I devised a plan, a voyage to Jotunheim. And then, I awoke. Interesting. Was there anything else? I heard a prophecy. Warning of Ragnarok, the destruction of the world, the end of all time. At the Nordnir, they warned me of the great wolf Fenrir, and how he hungered for my blood. But there was something else. Hope. I was undaunted by the coming cataclysm. Perhaps this aspect of your vision inspires bravery. Truly, you are touched by the gods. Was there more? There was nothing more. Nothing of great significance. The dream has faded. Eivor, your visions are unlike any I have encountered. Leave me now. I must think on what you have shared. Zunin, guide me. Yeah. <laughs> 
Let's get you to Valka.
Falcon to see if he is this. Land for Volka.
Even when Dog was younger, he had a streak in him. Hate to see it go that way. But you did the right thing. Can't imagine what you are feeling. Anyhow, you probably need something, eh? I would like to see what you have in stock. Is that what you want? You are looking. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Be well, my friend. I have the plant you asked for. It took some effort. Good, good. Thank you, Aver. Here you are. And be careful. This brew will feel as cold as ice on your lips. Yet, will burn like a fire in your belly. Jotunheimer, I have not set foot in this realm in some time. I must find the witch Angreboda. She knows all that happens here. Thank you. 
These woods whisper with Jotnar magic. Not everything is as it seems. right here when I last visited. It may still be illusions, but any obstacle can be overcome if looked at the right way. Enter. Do not trouble to knock or announce yourself. Angrabola, I have traveled far to find you. And you are brave to darken my door alone. Where is my lover, the dark fox that slinks between my sheets? Loki has stayed in Asgard to help rebuild the damage from a recent attack. How generous. And entirely unlike him. You used to be much better at lying. I am not Loki's keeper. I've come to understand Jotnar magic. Your method for moving Hugo from one body to another. The mead. You seek the mead. Hirokin! You have long outstayed your welcome. Then I will take my leave. But remember what I said, Angarbova. You will see things my way in time. You were discussing the humans in Midgard. Were we? Why would Jotnar concern ourselves with such lower beings? Because you think them hardy and ambitious. You know much, Farseer. But not enough to save you. The mead she spoke of. Where can I find it? A slip of the tongue. Forget what you heard. Do not play games with me, witch. You would sell any truth for the right price. If one had the means to pay it. There is a root called Hag's Claw. It grows at the bottom of a waterfall to the south, at the forest's edge. Bring me three roots from the place where the Red Moss thrives. 
Then we will speak of the mead. I will hold you to it. unseen. Aid me. Be my eyes.
Mars Pit. Look at this place. Yggdrasil's great tendrils reach everywhere in this room. That must be the Hag's Claw Engamon I spoke of. A pungent root. Must be a Hag's Claw. There should be more around. strange down here. Turns my stomach.
None but the high one. Ratatusk the tree rat, what message do you carry today? I've received a new message just this morning. It says... Ratatusk is this girl who here shall run on the ash tree in Brazil. And the high one is he who will be crushed underneath my flighting skill. What say you, high one? I will take you on, Squirrel. Say when. Good! Let's begin. I'm a messenger born, and I have got a word here from up on high. You'll be slain and undone by my cutting wit. I should like to see you try. Drill tooth, I am named for the way I bite at the bark of this world tree. But they ought call me knife tongue for words so sharp. They're too dull to conquer me. Not bad for an old man. I deal mostly in your fat headed fool. I grow weary of your squeak. That was almost good. Ratatusk is the squirrel who here shall run. Though he fought with some fury and did his best, it was... <laughs> you did better than I thought. Now leave this place before I... I have done as you asked. Now, where is my wisdom?
Give it a moment to brew. There. An elixir to ready your spirit. How will this bring me the meat? It will open your mind to the secrets of the world. While we wait, let us speak of Asgard. How fared your defenses after the last attack? We, um, we have been weakened by treachery. Without time to rebuild, we, we may not withstand another attack. Wait, I, uh, I, I did not mean to say that. I, I feel strange. Hexclaw has a way of untying the tongue. <laughs> now, you have said you want the mead, but how badly? How much would you sacrifice to be freed of fate's shackles? Would you give your tongue, your hand, your sight? I would. I would give all that, and more. I would like to see that. Loki, what trickery is this? I have sapped your strength, Javi. And I will take your life if your answers displease me. Did you think I would not come for you? After what you did to my son? Our son. Fenrir. A name I think you have heard before. Yes. In the final reckoning, the wolf Fenrir will be my doom. Now you know. Now, you can no longer deceive. Tell me, what will you do with him? I want to kill him. But I cannot. I swore an oath to you, Loki, and I will not break it. I will not take his life. Fenrir will be imprisoned until the day of prophecy, when we will meet upon the field of battle, as we are fated to. Then we will bind you until that day, as you mean to bind our son. An eye for an eye. I see she let you live. You must have done something right. <laughs> let me help you down from there. No! No! no. Wait! 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 No! You could have let me down gently. That would presume I cared for your comfort. Then why release me at all? For the same reason you are in Jotunheim. You seek the mead, and I can help you get it. I assume there is a price. I want a small sample for myself. The rest is yours. Fair? Do I have a choice? Of course you do not. The mead is kept by Sutungr and his daughter Gunlother in the vault at their home in Utgardr. The vault is opened only on occasion of a great feast, when Sutungr shares the bounty of his cellar. And it would be a poor host who did not throw a feast for a distinguished visitor. Say, the High One of Asgard. You are not as ox-witted as I feared. 
Why do you want the mead? My motives are not your business, as yours are not mine. All you need to do is get it. I must bring a mighty gift to Sutungar, if I am to earn my welcome. That idiot drunkard Agir recently lost his cauldron to Sutungar in a wager, but it disappeared on the way to Udgarder. Sutungar would be grateful indeed if I returned that cauldron to him. Seek the tree that wears the scars of the World Serpent Scales. The cauldron would have passed by there. You might also bring a gift for Gunlother. There are treasures that would flatter her in Thrimmer's house by the lake near Utgarther. I will bear that in mind. When you have the mead, join me at the Well of Mimir. There I will show you how to escape your doom at Ragnarok. Should I search for the cauldron now? I head for Thrimmer's Hall. Go, Zulin. Here's the tree Hurricane mentioned. Its bark cut deep by Jormungandr's sharp scales. I should look around for the missing cauldron. 